Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing a near Automata but the Windows 10 Store version. So why am I testing this again? I already tested it on the Steam version. Well, this game a couple of days ago got released on the Windows Store using Game Pass. You can buy the game on that store now or just play it through the Game Pass subscription. But the main thing with this is that a lot of people told me that this was a different build than the one on Steam. And the one on Steam wasn't ever patched, we are still on the day one version. So I gave it a shot yesterday on a live stream. And the game is definitely improved in comparison to the Steam version. This version adds fidelity effects, contrast adaptive sharpening, which the original game didn't have. And now the stutter seems to be basically gone and the full screen and borderless options are actually working. So you don't need a fan made patch to make it run properly, basically. So before comparing it to the Steam version, I'm going to clarify something very quickly. Make sure if you enable the ambient occlusion to keep the anti-aliasing disabled. For some reason, the ambient occlusion has a post-process AA built in. And the anti-aliasing in the options menu that is separate is MSAA, so it's a huge performance hit. Just make sure you turn that off. But so far, the game seems to be running basically the same, but without all that annoying stutter that we got at the beginning on the day one version on Steam. So between the Steam version and this one, this version is locked at 60 frames per second and it doesn't have stutter. And you cannot downgrade the global illumination option that you can lower using a mod on the Steam version. So basically this version is more stable, but at the same time it's locked at 60 frames per second and the mods won't work. On the Steam version you can get better performance using mods and better textures if you wanted and unlock the frame rate, but it's going to stutter quite a bit, so <laughs> pick your poison basically. If you have a good enough GPU, my advice is to play the Windows Store version, significantly more stable, doesn't stutter at all. And if you have an older GPU like a 750Ti, 1050Ti, something like that, play the Steam version, use the mod to lower the global illumination, and there will be some stutter here and there, but you can actually hit 60 frames if you lower the global illumination enough. Hopefully Square Enix soon releases a patch of this on the Steam version, because the difference is quite significant, at least in my opinion. Apparently there's a different company that was tasked with making this version for the Windows 10 Store. So yeah, hopefully we get that soon so we can actually unlock the frame rates and lower the global illumination like on the Steam version but without the stutter. That will be the best version of the game without a doubt. So yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.